Smoke weed every day. Part one. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Roll credits. That's the name of the game. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. Is that my mom? It's Hi, been mom. Years since I've last set eyes on this place, to be forced to see her now. Uh... Is that my mom? Ooh, I look okay. Watch her eyes. Watch my character. Uh, come on. No, are you not gonna do it anymore? She blinked. Look. She looked at him. There. There. She looked away. Then she looked back. Her. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea. Is that my mom? As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. No, you Thank didn't you teach me patience. anything. Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Are you my mom? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. Your so hair is kind of green like me. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Are you yes. my mom? Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Bullshit! I see. 
My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? You're my mother, aren't you? You're my mother. A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those. I have a feeling if I stayed Mrs. quiet, Ellie. my father would probably have been happy, be like, hmm. damn right. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Yeah, sure. Bye. Are you that lady I saw kill that one guy in that dream of the war? Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Dad. I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. God, you're the worst, Dad. I must work here? As a servant? As a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier what? talking about the Officer's Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. But I'm a terrible so, teacher. You're you my teacher. A professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. Dad, don't yeah. leave me. Watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Just like you taught me. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Hanneman? Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Okay. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. You know what? <laughs> I like your tenacity, lady. <laughs> She's just flat out horny. Uh, you're a physician? <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to... Spare our colleague... Give you a physical. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect what? you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. No, I think I have the known. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Beautiful. The Blue Lion House Duh, is for lions. from the Holy Kingdom. I mean, lions are cool and all, but I freaking love eagles. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan. The leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I guess. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. 
I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, uh, thank you. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Alrighty. Man, that's been saying it's time to load. Of course. Hi, Mom. And look, until I have gr undeniable proof that you're not my mother, I'm going to keep calling you my mother. While exploring the monastery, right stick is move camera, plus and minus to zoom in and out, but B and Y is to dash by holding. If you are unsure what to do next, look to the left side of the screen. Your current object will be there. You there? Oh, hey, I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Yes, Frankly, why did you do that? Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't oh. entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. I'm now, pretty sure some of them are also older than me. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Yes, sir. Menu, that's what I was looking for. Goals, roster, inventory. Three class. No. Quest. Storehouse. Save, guide. Oh, 
That's the facts. Losing a unit. In casual mode, you instantly lose attributes reduced to zero from the battle and return afterwards. In classic mode, they are lost forever. If my HP is reduced to zero in classic mode, the game is over. In casual mode, it only ends if your army is defeated. If you place two of your units just into one another, they will be able to use a trade command. Bailiff can use the convoy command at any time. Other units can trade with the convoy. Hawking. <laughs> Speaks level by one unit when you're selected, in the case the units have something to say. He uses the talk command when they are chasing, and the conversation builds support between them. Units can build support levels with other specific units as support levels between the units increase, so to do the benefits they receive by following each other. Actions around the monastery can build support among your units. Once support between two units reaches a certain threshold, the conversation will take place and the support level will increase. Any reinforcements may sometimes approach from stronghold and stairs. If your cursor is over an enemy, dangerous radius shows their attacks range will appear. Press the A button and the radius will remain visible. Oh. Choose the eyeball option in the bow to allow your units to act independently for one turn. You can cancel this one by pressing the ZL button. The ZL button. The power of crests. Units with crests have special abilities. Each crest is unique. Move your cursor over the crest and use to display. Each crest is unique. If you want to learn them, do this thing. Instead, I'm not going to tell you here. Advisor's room, okay, is this kind of like where I'd be? Is this kind of like the room I would pick if... I love her leggings, by the way. Those leggings are cool. Hi. God, my character's so adorable. All right. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? To start, yes. please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? I accept. Oh. Quests are tasks given to you by people around the monastery. Those who give you or... Those who can give or are involved with quests will have icons over them. Consult the quest menu to see the quests you have accepted. The icons beneath each quest indicates their stats. Icons are essential... Quests are ugh, icons for essential quests are red. Why can I not read? Hey, no, I want to go up there. Damn it, Mom! Let me sit in your fancy chair. Okay. Minimap. The minimap in the upper right corner of the screen shows your current location, location of important people, and directions to the quest givers, and more. Zoom or change the map by where the SR button. Holy balls. That's, uh... What do you think? Is that a tattoo of Petra's face? You're all rude. You all suck. I want to go back to mom. Why can't I go past here, you bastard? Yes. 
Is this the floor or is that prior? It was not. Hi. Why the hell do you take me so far away from all shit? Well, get used to seeing me. I'm your new teacher, bitch. Oh, that is the floor. Let's see. I'm real busy, so could you please move along now? Thanks. Okay, now, what else did Lady Rhea need doing today? Do not stare at my tits. Hi, Daddy. Here I am again, the office of the Captain of the Knights. That said, I'm merely here to assist. Apparently, the current captain is getting on in years. I hear the captain has a hard time keeping up with the responsibilities of the job. Ah, uh, that's where I come in. Okay, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah. Kiss on the cheek. This is my research laboratory. I've worked hard to furnish it with the rare materials and purpose-built equipment required for my work. Excuse me. This is my... Okay, you just say the exact same thing. Hello, nurse. Hello, professor. Dropping by so soon? Are you ill? This is the infirmary, you know. If you're ever wounded or sick, do feel free to drop by. Or if you would like a nice cup of tea. Would you? Well, some other time. She's horny for students. Self hot for teacher. I'm hot for students. Yeah. Blessing the God it's upon you. Yeah, yeah, sure, blessing, yeah. All that jazz to you too. I'm Thomas, I'm an old man. Welcome to the library. Here you may find literature from the far reaches of Fodland. I am Tomas, the librarian. If oh, you Tomas. have me, do not hesitate to ask. I have worked here for... Uh, uh, I have lost track of the decades, it seems. Okay. Good to know, Tomas. I uh, I'm I'm gonna forget that I had this run button, okay? Yeah. Supersonic racing. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Hey, right, y'all, <gasps> cat. Kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, let me pet the cat, let me pet the cat, oh, let me pet the cat, let me pet the cat. Where the hell did you come from? Was I running so fast I didn't even notice you? Damn it, let me pet the damn cat. That's not going to get a or anything. Alrighty. Cannot go past here. Fuck you, I can go where I want. I'm a teacher, damn it. Oh, I guess those guys are probably knights. What? Another cat! Let me pet you, let me pet you. Damn it, let me pet the damn cat. Huh. Oh, hi, beautiful. Hi there. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. 
I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbach. To be fair, I didn't really accept it. It was more so like, you're doing this. And it's like, oh, okay. So I didn't really accept this job, just so you know. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Yes, please. Uh, I want to know more about you. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Fuck this way. Oh my gosh, she is... She's adorable. Me? Well, what else? Okay. Hubert. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. That's nice to know. Yeah. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. Yeah. For some reason, he his house is that... He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. I have a nice smile. Casper the Friendly Ghost? He's the second son of Count Burglies. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Yep, will do. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric. But she seems like a gentle soul. I will protect this I child no matter she what. She shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. I must protect this child. I have only known this child for like a short amount of time. But if anything happens to her, I will kill everyone here and then myself. Freaking love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Fuck yeah. Okay, hello. A few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House. But Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officer's Academy. Could it be her hat? Which makes her look like Jotaro Kujo? Jojo! All the Jojo references. Oh, Petra. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Thank you so much. Bye now. Pardon me. Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Thank you, Yuri Lowenthal. You're the best. Yes. I must forget that I have a goddamn run. I have spotted Cloud. What do you think? The Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Cool. Oh. 
What is with all these cats? I wish to pet them all, but you won't let me. Let me pet the cats. Okay. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Good for you. That's so. All right, Cloud. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester. You all Lions, have that like don't strange. Don't too much about all that madness. Middle part I'm guessing of your last you don't thing. know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you yeah, met the folks no from fun. the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Yes. You. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Yeah, I didn't Let's do any battles with you in the so fight. Learning about each other little by little. That's kind of my fault, though. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. I am nil. He comes from a merchant family, but his I like died you. In an you seem like a nice, seems gentle like he's had a soul. Rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and nah, actually, that's about it. Commoner. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. What do you really want to do? I'd probably learn that if I was ever... When, and if I do, hang out with you guys. I mean, when I do. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? <laughs> ah, she seems endearing. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Hmm. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. I guess. I could probably end up liking you. I have a feeling I like all these characters. Leone enrolled because Unless she they give me a reason a not to. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. That's nice. I like that. What do you think? I've spotted so many people. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. No. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? Hello. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Oh, uh, something like that. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia Von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Fuck, what's your voice, actress? What do you think? Ah, you must be that renowned mercenary. Perhaps you'd like to join me for a cup of tea sometime. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. 
You will want to remember it. Uh, I want to remember your voice actor's name. Unfortunately, I can't off the top of my head. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. Right, right. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. All right. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Farms. All right, you all have those middle names. Of course, name academy, of course you do, you students. pompous assholes. And I'm I've heard that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Yeah, sure. Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Multiple... Wow! You have a nice skill. Hello? Dudu was born in Dusk and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Well, I can't wait. Felix? Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Well, you did say adoptive, so most Sylvain's notably he probably Gauthier. was a commoner. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Of course. Every class has has their perverts. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. You have the name of a hooker! I'm kidding. Mercedes is a nice name. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. Aww, She's a talented student. Big nails. That's true. Whatever those are called. Big nails. Beanie my bobbers. She's cheerful and hardworking. I like her hair. Me, though she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. So that's what that was. Ingrid. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. I will probably have her Truth, marry you. She is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Because that's the trope. I appreciate your effort. Oh, it's completed. I suppose I should return to Rhea. Please don't. I won't continue exploring. I, I haven't talked to everyone. Hello. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Nice to know. Oh. <laughs> what? I don't talk to strangers. Oh Our my god, I love no you. Stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Legitimate son of the Iyer family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. I want to learn more about you, Bernadette. Well now, you don't have a familiar face. What brings you here? Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. I look forward to that. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard. Goodbye. Sheesh, Linhard. 
How'd you get into the academy with those manners? So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Thank you. Uh huh. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of her highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Uh-huh. Oh. They're all so adorable! All right, let's meet the blue meanies. Well, well, it must be my lucky day today, being approached by such a beauty. Fuck you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. This is the only time I'm ever talking to you. No, I'm kidding. If I have to end up talking hi to you, there. I'll talk to you. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. Dudu. I have heard that you rescued his highness. I like your Words name. cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, Please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Thank you. Ah. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. You're marrying him. Fuck you're you. Quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, uh -huh. must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. It is nice to meet you all, too. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it... Oh, my it, God. That does sound like... Oh, my God. I, have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers' Academy, too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Manette. It's nice to meet you. I love him. I love them. I love them all. Oh no, how am I gonna choose which house? I've already chosen though. Let me pet the damn cats. Damn it. You better let me pet the cats at some point in this game or I will be upset about that. What the fuck is the point of this? How do you even get up there? Is there like a hidden passage? Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's a Pegasus. Okay, that makes sense. Pegasus are a thing. Oh, this game is beautiful looking. Oh man, I am. I can't wait to get more into this game. Yes. No rain at all. Fuck you! I'm a teacher. Uh. I know. I'm scared if I go to the audience chamber, the theme will start. But anyway, guys. I'm going to end the part off here. Uh, well, this is going to become multiple parts. Probably two or three. It all depends. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys liked the video, please, videos, please give that like button a click. Comment down below. Check about the videos. If you didn't like about the videos. And let me know. Is this your first time playing a Fire Emblem game? Uh, like I said, I have played one in the past. I never beat in it, but I have played it. And I was not very good at it. So, I, I feel like I'll definitely... um improve on this game so i'm i'm definitely looking forward to um playing this game more so yeah so yeah and as well as guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat and subscribe to the main channel too that's in the description below as well as follow me on twitter both my main twitter rbg kid twitter are in there too i want to thank you all so much for watching once again and i'll see you all next time